I was talking to a, a client that we'd already filed the action for, and we were sitting down and I was having her go through a lot of questions as to what attorneys would refer to as damages. And, and she asked the question, she's like, well, actually, I've never, I've never thought about it, but what damages are, am, am I entitled to as a result of bringing an employment claim in California? And, and so we sat down and I talked to her about, you know, you're entitled to the damages that the termination had on you. You know, and, and I discussed with her that, you know, one of the big damages that we look at is emotional distress. She had been working for this company for years. She had been working for the company for 17 years. And she had gotten injured and she had told her employer that she had an upcoming surgery. And then after 17 years, within four weeks, about two weeks before the surgery, they written her up three times and they terminated her. So I talked to her about the emotional stress of losing a job that she really, really enjoyed. I mean, she really enjoyed doing the work that she was doing. Um, but also, in addition to having that loss of actually something that you enjoyed, of actually having a job that you enjoyed, we talked about the stress of not being able to, to pay rent on the apartment that she was at. Um, she talked about um, the fact that her son was going into junior high football and that they would have a fundraiser and that each family was expected to, to raise $250 per kid. And she talked about the stress of going back to her family and, and trying to fundraise that money because she had already gone to her family the month before to pay for rent. And so we talked about that embarrassment. She talked about waking up at two o'clock in the morning and, and feeling inadequate as a mom um, and, and, and being a breadwinner for 17 years and that stress. And we talked about sort of the stress of going forward. You know, what, what kind of stress will she have um, in looking for a job and, and, and that fact that she was on, on track to actually get a job about a week later, but it would be making less. Um, but she was just happy to have a job. That's all she really ever wanted. And we talked about that stress of not having that kind of money to, uh, to do small things and that impact. And so we talked about that emotional stress of losing a job. We also talked about the wages, that she would be entitled to back wages between the termination up through a jury trial, as well as economic damages going forward. That, that she makes about $4 less an hour in her job that she's about to take versus what she used to make. Now $4 an hour, just roughly, that's $8,000 a year. And that's gonna play out for a good number of years as she tries to, to uh, be compensated, to receive the same compensation that she used to receive. So those are your sort of two main. You have emotional stress, both back, way, uh, back and front emotional stress, and you have uh, uh, benefits, um, wage loss, loss of medical benefits, uh, both in the past and going forward. Depending on the employer, you also might be entitled to punitive damages. Literally a number to punish the employer to say that your behavior was despicable. And as a result of that, you should be punished by having to pay money. So our system isn't, isn't perfect. All we can ask of a jury is to be compensated, to compensate you for uh, the stress and anxiety of not having a job. Uh, to compensate you for uh, feeling inadequate and angry. Um, and all we can do is ask for money is to punish them, to get their attention, that something went wrong. Lastly, we'd also seek attorney's fees and costs, that if it goes all the way to trial, that we ask the court that you, as the, as the injured party, shouldn't have to pay for the attorney's fees and costs. Now, most of our cases do settle. Uh, we do try cases, and in those cases that we try, we do ask the court that the other side should pay attorney's fees and costs. But most of our cases settle, and from that, we would, we would take our attorney's fees from a, a lump sum. And, and, um, uh, but that lump sum is to compensate you for your back wages and your front wages, and for your emotional distress, and for you to hopefully be made whole. If you have a question as to what type of damages you should be able to be able to seek against your employer for what they caused to you. Feel free to give us a call. We're more than happy to discuss any 
questions you may have regarding your underlying claim as to as, as also to include any damages that you would be entitled to. So I look forward to hopefully talking to you if you have questions. Uh, always feel free to give us a call. Thanks.